Tonight I won't sleep. I'll sew for you. I'll have it done by tomorrow morning. But you have to work tomorrow morning, don't you? If you're tired, forget it. I'll, I'd feel bad if you did this tonight. Do you really care? We can't have you wearing such ragged clothes. I'm the one carrying the load around here. I work from morning until night so that we won't fall into poverty. I sew so that my husband doesn't have to wear ragged clothes. I have to make meals too. All of this because you are my husband. Am I not right? Is it that difficult? Is being the only one who works really that miserable? If it's that bad, you should quit. Did you say? Did you say I should quit? Yes, I did. You should just do nothing. Do you want us to be destitute? Sure, I'd be fine. It's not necessary for you to work. If it's that hard on you, I'm the only one who works. I'm the only one who works. Is that what you always say? But what does that really mean? Stop being so pathetic. Perhaps someone who idles about doing nothing, letting a woman feed him, wouldn't understand. No matter how excruciatingly hard it is for me, perhaps someone like you just can't understand. I'm the only one who works. What does that really mean? From the perspective of overachievers like you, perhaps what I do just doesn't measure up. But for me, it's really hard work. I've been living like this for a whole year. Spend my days so submerged in my writing that I barely have time to come up to breathe. I'm gasping, gasping for air. I work so hard every day, every day, that even I am amazed at how much energy my body has. And yes, I'm suffering. I'm suffering so much. I don't even know how much anymore. And yet I endure it and work. If it's so hard on you, why don't you stop? What do you mean by that? Are you not grateful for all that I do for you? Is that what you mean? I guess so. Well, then why don't you stop? Why don't you stop being supported by me? Why don't you stop living this way? All I need is a word of sympathy and acknowledgement of what I go through for you. Instead of all I get is this ingratitude. Well, if it means nothing, then why not stop living off of someone who means nothing to you? Why don't you, sir, start working yourself? I'll work. I won't be under your care. I'll work. Anytime I want to work, I can. What is this? I suffer so much, and I work so hard, and I can't even breathe. While you're suffering so, you still have time to run around and play with that young lover of yours. That's not so bad. Mind your mouth. What exactly are you implying? You know what I'm saying is true. Okay, if you want to say it, say it. Oh well, wait, my dear. Instead of sitting around being taken care of and just looking, or rather lusting at the mere sight of young girls, isn't what I'm doing far better. Whom are you talking about? I'm talking about you. Don't you always say that you feel passion for okuda song? It's only something I feel. It's something that I can control based on my sense of right and wrong. So even though I may feel something for okuda, I never acted upon it. I don't even think we can say the same for you. Didn't you walk around with him holding hands in public? Didn't you go as far as kissing him? Please don't bring that up. Isn't lusting after a woman the same as violating her? The control nonsense you talk about is just a matter of superficial morality. If you want it, isn't it better to follow through and have it? Isn't that way manlier? Is that right? So you're saying, in your case, you're following through with your desires. When it comes to the pleasures of love, we're on entirely different planes. What does that mean? Because unlike you, I didn't feel some base passion, no matter what the situation. I only enjoy love scenes. What I did was spiritual. It's different from you getting off at the sight of a girl. For me, whatever the situation, I only look at men as beautiful dolls. I have never once fantasized about the flesh. I was always creating poems. This may be cliche, but I was in love with love. Bullshit. You say our love is different. They're both the same. So being in love with love is spiritual. That's it? Spiritual love, you say? What you're saying is a lie. What about it is a lie? Does love without lust really exist? Yes or not, I do not know. I'm just talking about myself here, and you say it's a lie? What do you think I'm lying about? Are you saying that I am lying when I say that even though I love a man, I don't have lustful feelings for him? Of course. It's a lie. You're lying right now. You're right. For a man like you who is so easily overcome with passion at the sight of a girl, you can never understand true love of the heart that I am talking about. I'm sure you can never understand such sublime feelings. I can see that from looking at our life together. You're living a deranged life of flesh. 
you've lost the power to be productive in the world, so your libido is going through the roof. Why don't you try considering my situation? Until you try considering my point of view, we'll never see eye to eye. Are you saying that it's impossible? They don't feel us? <laughs> that I cannot believe. You think you use that higher order of love bullshit only when I'm around? Say that? You think it's okay to talk that way about me? Why don't you repeat that once more? Come on, does love really lust? Does love? Bruh, I'm angry now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need to see this over.